I also remember when these used to be like $2. I kind of messed up my thumb. I am not a nail artist. <laughs> guys welcome back to the vlogs this is going to be another day in my life so of course we start every day with tea uh no not actually but apparently in every vlogs i start my day with tea or coffee which is kind of funny but it is like quarter to eight so 7 45 in the morning right now i woke up about seven and i just wanted to share my skincare routine with you since somebody did ask me about that obviously i have acne and i've been struggling with acne for so so long i've basically had acne since high school maybe a little bit earlier than that so let's get into it they also called me into work this morning and i think i'm working at like nine so kind of be fast about this but every morning and every night i wash my face with sarah v this is the foaming facial cleanser i only wash my face like once like with a tiny bit of cleanser in the morning just because i don't want it to be too harsh but at night i will do two cleanses with this and i always tie my hair back this is just with a lulu scrunchie but obviously I use these for like other things too but I'll just take like that much like the smallest amount and use that to wash my face and now that my face is still wet I will go in with this ordinary niacinamide and zinc use about that much and rub this all over my face while it's still wet so that it really sinks in I didn't used to use this actually because it actually made my breakouts worse but now I find it has been helping so you really have to play around with what works for your skin I'll use that like every other day and then I'll use these on the alternate days and this is just azorbic acid so vitamin C but be really careful with this because it will irritate your skin if you use it too much and and it's really important to also put sunscreen on with this as well and then at night about three times a week I'll use the ordinary lactic acid as well and I'll have everything linked down below for you guys but this is just like a good exfoliant I find it really good for like my forehead acne and then clearing blackheads on my nose and now while that's sinking in I will apply my CeraVe moisturizing lotion again I use this like morning and night Besides the times, I will use like my retinol cream, which is like once a week. This is the retinol cream. It's just the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. And then the spot treatments I will use is this Clean and Clear Salicylic Acid and Benzogel. This will stain and bleach, so be really careful. Make sure you wash your hands after applying this. I'll usually use this at night, but don't like go to bed right away make sure that it does soak in or else it will stain your sheets and your pillowcases so i've had that happen but yeah i'll just like put the smallest amount just on the active acnes the ones that are really bad of course i'll go in with um some sunscreen once my moisturizer has soaked in and this is just the copper tone one that's basically all for my skincare and then i will show you my foundation routine in a minute Okay, I just finished curling my hair and we're going to let that set. So I'm going to show you quickly my makeup routine. I'm using this Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation and my Sigma Foundation Brush. These are honestly so old. If you remember these Pink Bunny Collection Sigma brushes, then give this video a like because I've had these since middle school and I think I was 12. I'll just go ahead and put like a small pump of foundation on each and then just take the extra off of there onto the brush and just go ahead and blend that in a little bit. Okay, so I basically have that blended out. I really enjoy the coverage that this one gives. Obviously, I still have a little bit of texture from my acne, but we're all wearing a mask these days anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And then I just use this Sephora Bright Future Gel Concealer and put that under my eyes, and then with the same brush, just dab it. Honestly, I don't really get the... Uh, whole concealer application thing so i'm just doing what works for me and then to be honest i don't actually set it with anything i'm just gonna take my mac powder here and just add a little bit of highlight underneath just to set but 
that's basically it so yeah probably gonna go into work for a little while and then run some errands at the mall which is just returning my sephora actually yeah wow look at this coverage it's pretty good sephora purchases so this argan oil sadly did not work and then i did decide to pick up this southern bell dry bar mousse but honestly it made my hair really like greasy like this is only day three and usually i wash my hair about once a week now so like every five six days and it's good until then like it doesn't get greasy until like day five but yeah this is like day three and it's already like super like dense like it didn't lift at all sadly so i'm going to be returning that because it was a pretty expensive product and for that price i would like it to work. So we, I guess, have to get ready for work now. Also, one other disclaimer I just wanna say about the skincare is that everybody's skin is so, so different. I have been working so hard to find stuff that works for me and my skin because you could watch, honestly, a million videos on YouTube and TikTok saying, oh, buy this product, buy that product, but in the end, it might not work out for your skin. There's honestly not like one magic wand fix the answer solve the problem which really really sucks even seeing like a dermatologist it takes a lot of trial and error and I know a lot of people are just prescribed Accutane but that's something that I didn't want to go on so I've been working diligently to help clear my skin which you know from this angle looks pretty good right now but the one thing that has helped my skin is honestly taking a multivitamin these ones are my favorite they are the Ollie women's multivitamins yes they are gummy vitamins because I am a child sure it's not the best but I do actually think that it has helped my skin tremendously because I used to have way worse cystic acne and this one has helped it kind of calm it down to maybe just you know regular acne i guess if that makes sense so consult a doctor honestly don't just take supplements just because i said so but this i would attribute to helping my skin the most anyways okay now we are ready for the day so i'm literally just wearing my lulu swiftly and some wonder unders with my h&m sweater because it's going to be casual i am filling online orders today in the back of house it was supposed to be my day off today but i'm going in to help one of my co-workers because there is a lot of orders today did not get to drink my tea at all but i'm late so gotta go to work and i will update you guys after I just finished at work and then I quickly grabbed a Starbucks. This is a passion tea lemonade I honestly haven't had one of these in like forever. I also remember when these used to be like two dollars now It's like four dollars for like a grande, which is stupid But anyways, and then I returned my stuff at Sephora and then I exchanged the hair oil for this Olaplex one Hopefully it is a little bit better because the other one was just too heavy and thick for my hair. So We'll see. And then I also redeemed 100 points for this You To The People Super Berry Hydrate Glow Dream Mask. So very excited to try that out. I'm super hungry, so I'm going to head home and make some lunch. For lunch today, we have a nice Caesar salad and some leftover beef barley soup from last night. And of course, my Starbucks tea. Question of the vlog, do you enjoy your salad on a plate or in a bowl? Cause I am definitely a salad in a bowl kind of person but yeah let me know i want to know if people feel the same way about this or not <laughs> or if there's actually a debate around it whatever because i know people sometimes like their pasta on a plate versus a bowl etc so let me know salad on a plate or in a bowl but yeah i'm just gonna eat this and then later today i am prepping for a lululemon interview tomorrow which i am so excited about and very nervous but i need to decide what to wear and then of course prepare my questions for after the interview and then then I have some packages to unbox as well. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, let's open her up. Not gonna lie, I 
kind of just took things out of the package, but this is from Nail Addict Los Angeles. So they were so kind and reached out to me to gift me some of their nail polishes to try. Thank you so, so much for these products. I am super excited to test them out and use them. So the first thing they sent over is this mini UV LED lamp. And then they sent over five of their gel polishes. So this is what it looks like when we first open the package. Okay, so the first color they sent over is Cutie Pie, which is this really cute purpley color and then they also sent over do me a favor which is more of a pink color as you guys know uh, that's kind of my color palette and then we got the peel off a soak off gel polish i'm pretty sure this one is it's either bottom or top but it's supposed to help actually take off the polishes oh, okay this is the no wipe top so i didn't want to like wipe my polishes i wanted it to be like as beginner friendly as possible and then they also sent over sugar magnolia this is super cute i love this coral color so these polishes are vegan cruelty free and chemical free so that is super great and I'll have a coupon code in the description box below so if you use the code Gabby you get 45% off of your purchase you guys can try this out too I honestly don't get my nails done a lot because I hate how you take gel nail polish off of your nails I think it really wrecks them plus I honestly just can't keep my nail polish on so Ooh, all right there she is I kind of messed up my thumbnail, but it literally peels off. Wow. So that's going to make removal really easy. Okay, so I applied two coats of the color and I think that's enough because I might have accidentally put it on too thick so please don't come at me in the comments I am not a nail artist I really really struggled with the application of it but you know from far away it looks pretty good so it said to apply like three to four thin coats but I honestly wasn't used to how thick gel nail polish is so I definitely think I went a little overboard with that but I love the color and I enjoy that they're already set and you don't have to wait an hour now I have to clean up this giant mess I made I am watching Aspen and Parker's video. I also need to plan out my interview questions for tomorrow. So I'm probably just going to chill here at my desk and do those things while I finish up my YouTube video. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So a bit of an update right now. I am just downloading all of this footage onto my computer here. And then I am going to just import it really quick into iMovie but I've been planning out all my videos in my little notebook here. I know a lot of YouTubers usually just do it on like Google Calendar or whatever, but I am like old fashioned. I definitely like the pen and paper methods. I just planned out my buy or buy for next week. And then of course this vlog, and that's kind of all I'm gonna share with you because you should stay tuned to see what videos I have coming up next. But of course they're going to be Lululemon related so if you enjoy that make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified when i do post those videos and you can stay up to date so that's a little bit of the update not much is happening this is literally my life is going to work and then coming home to edit that's just what it is so if you're still here thank you okay so i'm trying to decide what i should wear to my interview tomorrow it's obviously a zoom interview but it is the one-on-one -on -one. so like like, I just wore my purple swiftly to the group zoom interview which I thought you were kind of like supposed to wear a Lululemon and this was like pretty distinctly Lululemon but like still cute a lot of the other people were kind of like dressed up a little bit more so I'm kind of second guessing like what I should actually wear to the interview but okay first I have on is like the cropped Henley with just some black wonder unders but I don't know like is this can you tell that this is Lulu enough like I want something that is like 
distinctly Lululemon. I don't know. I don't know if it's like dressy enough or if it should be casual. Obviously, I don't really have any like dressy tops because I don't know. That's not really what Lululemon is for necessarily is dress clothes. I do have like some dressier bottoms that they came out with like the on the move pants and the on the fly pants. But obviously, they're not going to be seeing that or I could wear it like this. So obviously, the Align tank, which I feel like is pretty distinguishable and then just a cardigan on top probably this i don't know because you can only obviously see the top half of me i think this looks like somewhat dressy if i just like add some necklaces and stuff but cute i think this may be the winner but yeah i just spent like the afternoon preparing for the interview just like prepping my questions and stuff obviously it's going to already have happened it is like five o'clock so i'm going to make some dinner i think i'm going to end the vlog here since it has been super super long and nothing else really is gonna happen tonight that's exciting so thanks so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one bye